first, before we dive into this topic, I'm going to walk you through what I think the long road towards your dream job really looks like. This is what this is what everything was all about. All this going to school, you know, your parents finding daycare and your parents or your parents leaving you alone at home and, and giving you the keys to the house or your parents giving you a mobile phone so that they could reach you because you're all alone and they're out at work making that whack or uh, you getting bullied or, you know, being scared of someone or or uh, having a, a high school or school crush all these things and then you know taking out loans and then having all-nighters and then all-nighters messing up your your whole sleeping pa pattern and then having insomnia and then all kinds of things not being able to mm, people have mental illnesses because of this you know school university thing and then failing and then passing and then victory and then defeat and then cramps in your hand your legs your arms your back your neck what everywhere eyes needing glasses you know uh eating struggle food all day every day not having time to spend with your friends you know pe people or to socialize people even passing and you think oh I wish I'd spend more time with them but hey there were so many essays and dissertation and whatnot and whatnot due and then finding out that some people do have you know the resources to 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 get this thing done and get it done well but you know they're not gonna tell you about it so you're suffering and then in the end you find out and then you feel like people have backs backstabbed you teachers and lecturers that act like they care but they don't give a hoot some of them making it very evidently clear some of them hiding behind their sneak sneakery having school favorites oh the list goes on and on all this and eventually you do get a job in your 20s somewhere and then yeah man that's supposed to be it for you for you for, for a very very long time and it's just like if, if you look at it that way it's kind of boring are we not made for more than this are we not made for more than just that it that's what makes the world go round. even in the early days if you look in genesis and stuff everybody had a job if somebody was a fisherman that was it the fisherman never branched out and all of a sudden became a carpenter or something like that i feel like <laughs> i feel like it's these days that we are so fed up with everything everything is boring everything is oh uh this that 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 but back in the day that's that's how it was yeah it's just that life has changed we see other people doing other things and branching out you know we have people that are instagram models that become runway models which is like model model and then from there they become actresses and singers within a space of a decade people have like six or 16 different careers like just like that you know and so everybody wants that because to be fair people these days are not very satisfied with their jobs and as i was saying my mom the other day like i was taking the train and stuff and it was this lady at the port you know you can use your phone to bleep the thing and then the, the ports open but at this train station they had only one of those ports so there was a woman standing there and if you showed it to her she would be able to open the port for you this was her job she was just standing there doing this the entire day the entire day you'd go for hours do your business you'd still be standing there and it's close to the door so it's very cold and she's standing always holding like a hot tea and she's got like a huge jacket this woman was smiling she was laughing she was having banter i was like look at this this woman practically works outside but she's happy she's happy and she's happy doing her job the other day yesterday at the day bargain hunt i saw this guy who said that um, he'd been part of the royal mile for since he was very very young and in his days i think he was still the type what did he say i can't remember what he says but he was like back in the day paper boy or whatever they used to call them back in the day and he and if he makes it and still works till 65 he would be the longest and oldest employee mm -hmm. the longest working employee from for royal man i was like look at that and he was standing there with pride and he was happy about it so what what can we do in this life in this day and age to just be happy and content with whatever we're doing and stick at it and i think there's a few things that that factor into this work doesn't always make it easy people will try to get you out of work people will try to bully you out of your work that is one you know there's bullies at work come on there's really horrible people, horrible people at work. That is one. And then the second thing is, um, the, the job becomes monotonous. You know, if the jobs, they, they have like new innovative things happening and it's all new, that's cool. You know, every now and again, okay, everybody, we're getting new desks, we're getting new chairs, we're getting new laptops, everybody, hooray. Okay, everybody, we're redec you know, renovating the, the toilets and everything because we know toilets that some of these jobs would be just terrible and disgusting and will just ignite the claustrophobic you <laughs> 
when you go into these toilets and they're nasty you know if it were jobs that every few years something is changing or every every few months okay now we've got new coffee in the coffee machine <laughs> i don't know it's always the little things it's the little things but when things are the same the same the toilet at work still smells weird <clears throat> weird way moldy way nothing has changed you're still sitting on a chair that the person before you sat on you know your desk is this toe up you know completely ruined your 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 keys on your <laughs> for your computer they stick because there's food and drinks gone down there as the decades have gone on meanwhile your boss is driving a lamborghini today a range rover tomorrow and a mercedes the next day and you <laughs> the employees are suffering <laughs> Yeah, all this stuff makes people have great animosity towards people at their job and just not like their job in general, isn't it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What else was I going to say? Is that is the mo monotonous <laughs> Hey, that is not English. Yo. The monotonous nature of people's jobs, that is one. The fact that they get bullied and stuff is two. And then the third thing is seeing other people doing various different things. Now with social media, it can't be unseen. You see people living their best life and you're like, yeah, mm, this one was a sure, but now they're, they're whatever, you know, or hmm, this one was, this one was, a, a, what do you call it? A cashier, but now they're out here living their best life and sitting on yachts and everything. Now. Not all that glitters is gold. It's become harder to be satisfied, truly, truly satisfied with what you're doing because of some of these things. People have become meaner and people are showing more things in your face and flashing it in your face. And yeah, you know, somehow we need to get back to that. Or we can just start by making pension age at 55 and call it a day so that people can, you know, do other things in it. People can, yeah, other people that are coming up can actually find jobs and fill these positions that are always being held hostage by these people that don't want to go. Because fair enough, if they went, where would they go to? They need to be there till they're 65. Duh. That's how all these managers and directors and stuff like that are super old. Not all of them, of course, but you know what I mean. People need to stay in the positions till 65. If we want to make that age, you know, further away in the future, um, where does that leave the rest of us, <laughs> you know, that are coming up? You're going to be an assistant for the next 20 years of your life, even though you've got director skills and everything, but there's no positions out there because it's all taken. Meanwhile, those people could go and do other things with their life, you know, and have fun and actually have last the last decades of their life be enjoyable with their grandchildren, their children, take care of them take some financial pressures off of those people, you know, and those will be the same people taking over those positions. It's a vicious cycle. Anywho, I could go on forever. Whatever you do, make sure you hit bump thumb. And what? Say it harder. I so do. Eh, eh, on that subscribe button and hit the <coughs> notification bell whilst you're at it. And I'll see you in the next one make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right god bless bye bye